the legendary wildlife expert and environmental campaigner, 94, has recently been urging humanity to change its relationship with nature, admitting that he does not have long left. Sir David, who is the same age as the Queen, has produced and presented a vast number of programs with the corporation since the 50s. However, he once slammed former BBC director Richard Crawston over the making of a landmark royal documentary. He predicted that the program would be damaging to the royal family. The documentary in question, entitled The Royal Family, was commissioned by Prince Philip in the 60s, who agreed to open the doors of the palace to let the public in on the magic. It was one of the most intimate looks ever at the British royal family. But after it was shown just once, it was locked away in a vault, never to be seen again in its entirety. Activities seen ranged from the Duke of Edinburgh grilling sausages at Balmoral Castle to the Queen making small talk with former US President Richard Nixon. According to the book, The Queen and Die, The Untold Story, Sir David foresaw the potential problems with this and wrote to the BBC on the matter. She claimed the broadcaster furiously wrote to the producer-director of the groundbreaking documentary in 1969. He reportedly wrote, you're killing the monarchy, you know, with this film you're making. The whole institution depends on a mystique and the tribal chief in his hut. If any member of the tribe ever sees inside the hut, then the whole system of the tribal chiefdom is damaged and the tribe eventually disintegrates. Ms. Seward wrote, It was a warning which was ignored and, in retrospect, the program came to be seen to have given fateful encouragement to exactly the kind of intrusive interest in their lives which the royal family were at such pains to avoid. She added that the British monarchy had never quite come to terms with the power of television or appreciate its need to reduce its subject matter to the level of a soundbite. Quote. <laughs>